In this video, we're going to look at using tags and defining tags in SketchUp Pro 2021. I'm going to open my default trays. I'm going to show my tray. And primarily what we're going to be looking at is our tags and our entity info. Each of these trays can be opened and closed using this arrow button. If I click and the arrow turns down, it opens up to show the contents of the tray. And if I close it again, it collapses to remove the contents or to hide the contents. I'm going to select my scale figure and delete her. And let's start by drawing in, let's say, a floor. I'm going to click at my origin and drag out a rectangle, type in 10 feet, comma, 20 feet, enter. And I now have a 10 by 20 foot rectangle. If I were to use my push-pull tool, click and drag down and then type in 12 inches, enter. I now have this object as a 12 inch slab or 12 inch volume. If I triple click, I can select the entire object. And in the entity info and the tags, let's open both of those up and I'm going to add a tag and I'm gonna call this floor. And I will then in my entity info for what is selected, instead of untagged, I'm going to assign it to floor. And now if I turned off floor, notice the visibility of that object is turned off. I'm also going to turn this into a component such that when I draw anything else that abuts it or model anything else that abuts this, that those models do not try to become part of the floor. So I'm going to triple select, right click to make a component, and let's call this floor. I'm going to draw a wall now around this floor, and I will click to draw like so. Notice as soon as I close that path or that line, I get a shaded box. I can turn off floor at this point, that tag, and it hides the visibility of the floor. I'm going to use my offset tool to offset, let's say, a five inch enter wall and I'm going to select this inner shaded area and tap delete. So now I have a wall that's five inches thick. If I were to click and drag and type in perhaps eight feet, I now have an eight foot wall. Let's make a, an opening in this wall. I'm going to use my tape measure tool to click on this vertical line and drag my mouse to the right. Let's type in five feet. Enter. I now have a guideline that is five feet from the edge of this wall, and I'm going to click and drag that guideline again at four feet, enter, and then click and drag one up at seven feet, enter. So these lines are not part of my model, but I could use them to now draw lines that are very accurate and that cut the beginnings of a entry or doorway, let's say, into my wall. I'm going to use the push-pull to select that piece of geometry, click and drag, and snap to the inside of the wall. And you'll see that what SketchUp does is it automatically cleans up that opening. So now I have a very simple piece of geometry that defines an opening or, or a series of four walls with openings. So I'm going to select and delete my guidelines click and drag around all of these and let's make a new tag called wall. And using my entity, I'm going to assign all of these objects to wall. And I will also make a component of them. Let's call this uh, wall. So now I have floor separate from wall. I can isolate those individually. I'm going to make one more tag and call it ceiling. And I'm actually going to double click this little um, pen icon, which is the active icon, and set my ceiling tag to be active. I'm going to make, oops, my snaps were not perfectly, hmm, why is that not snapping properly? Let's see. 
I turned off my wall and ceiling tag, or my wall and floor tag, just to clean up those pieces of excess line. Let's try this with a, there we go, with a rectangle. And make that, make sure that's on ceiling, which it is. And then I think I will push pull that down, say five inches. And then I'm going to offset it in 12 inches, push pull that down two inches. So I have a little bit of a shaped ceiling here. I'm going to turn that into a component by triple clicking. Let's turn off the wall so it's a little easier to see. Triple clicking, right click, make component ceiling. And what I have now is I have walls, floors, and ceilings for this space, this room. I can toggle on and off my walls, my floor, my ceiling. It doesn't want to let me hide the current tag, so my ceiling. And this is beginning to be organized in a way that I could decide perhaps I want to show a view where I'm looking down through the ceiling, or perhaps I want to show a view where I'm looking up through the floor. And because of these tags, I have the flexibility to show that. And I also have the flexibility of modeling, knowing that they're not, they're not going to all be joined together because each of them is also a component. And I could validate that. Let's turn our floor back on. I could validate that by looking in my components shelf. And if I looked at my in model components, I see my ceiling my floor, my scale figure, which was part of the template that I opened, and my wall. So I have three components. I also have three tags. And that's the beginning of how we can use tags to organize our, our models um, to make them easier to view and easier to edit.